Yeah, I'm good. Man. What about you? I'm doing well too. Thank you. Right? How's your day been so far? Uh, it was good. Okay. All right. Excellent. So, more English? Yeah, ma'am. Okay. Great. You seem a little down. You good? I'm good, ma'am. Okay. Yeah. Not so. Not looking so excited about English. <laughs> <laughs> okay. All right. So I'm going to ask you uh, just one question in connection to the last class. Okay. So uh, I'm very angry with my friend. All right. So I shouted dash her. I shouted at her. Good show. Yes. Very good. And um. <coughs> There are only children. You don't need to get angry. Dash at them. Angry at, at them. Perfect. Yes. Very good. Okay. So at, right? Uh, no on over there. That's usually a, a very common mistake that people make. But good. You remember that from the last class. So yay. All right. Excellent. Okay. What are we going to do today? Yeah. Right. So we are going to talk about... Behavior. Behavior. Okay. So all, you know, many, many questions in connection because that's what we do all the time. Right? Behavior. Okay? Behavior. Yeah. So let's start off by just wondering about what you think is good behavior and what do you think is termed as bad behavior? Good behavior, like, uh, is that term like in which uh, we talk with other person in a respecting way, and we give uh, respect to each other, uh, to each other, and yeah, and that, that is called a good behavior. And uh, the bad behavior, we are not giving respect uh, to anyone, like uh, whether it is a small child, a small child, or the uh, elder, the elderly person, like uh, that is called a bad behavior. Okay, so I like your definition. So you have connected, uh, you know, what we term as good and bad behavior completely to respect. Yes, uh, you have said that, you know, good behavior is when we act in a respectful way, okay. Okay? not respecting. So I respect somebody. Okay, that is the verb, right? But when you're talking about... Um, it as an adjective, respect becomes respectful. Okay. How was his behavior? His behavior was respectful. Respectful. Okay. So that, that yeah. So absolutely right. I think I'm in total agreement. And I particularly liked your opinion that, um, you know, it need not be even connected to age. You can be respectful and you should be respectful even to children. You know, so it's it's a two way street. Do you get this two way, two -way street? street? Yeah. Okay. What does it mean? It means that, uh, you know, it has to it has to go both ways. It has to go both ways. Okay. Uh, they will also act respectful towards you, but you also need to act respectful towards them. Okay. Uh, so uh, since we're on the topic of children. Yeah, ma'am. Who do you think is a well-behaved child? Or what would you term as a well-behaved child? Uh, he must, uh, the well-behaved child in my term is like, uh, he, sh uh, uh, he should uh, act like a good uh, good child, uh, like uh, to, uh, to be respectful uh, with each and every person who is elderly, uh, who is elderly, like uh, from his, uh, like his mom, his dad, and his elderly his, uh, grandfather and his family member, and to his friend also. Uh, and he should uh, uh, listen to his mom and dad what he is trying to say, what he is trying to convey him, and what is his, uh, they are trying to uh, put him through, like uh, what is good, what is bad, trying to teach him. Okay, very nice. In particular, I think very good verb convey. All right. So what they are trying to convey. Now, this is interesting. You always convey something to somebody. Okay. So what they're trying to convey to him. So yeah, you've said that a respectful child will, uh, you know, his be, uh, a good, what we term as good behavior in children is normally connected to respectful behavior. 
um uh, behavior that shows you know that obedience to parents mm-hmm. maybe okay to guidance what they're offering him listening to all those kind of things and following whatever they plan for him or lay out for him. okay yes uh, so why are that why is it that some children seem you know well mannered but are all children well mannered according to you all of the children are not well mannered <laughs> so so why why is it that some children according to you are well mannered whereas other children they don't seem to be so well mannered is there mm-hmm. any reason that you feel that this is the reason it depends on uh, parents teaching also but uh, not all the time we can blame our parents or their parents uh, because uh, the friend circle uh, because it depends on that uh, person also like uh, the in the env- uh, at the environment uh, he or she is living or uh, his or uh, his friend circle like what kind of friend circle uh, she or he is uh, having and also it depends on them also excellent all right so yes you said that it's uh, yes most people would say that it is the parents you know because the parents teach you everything but you said that i don't feel it's completely you know the responsibility rests on the shoulders of the parents because it can be even the child's personality it can even be the friend circle you know influences in the child's life uh and all that can affect the child's behavior so you can have you know ill mannered children also and that their bad manners may not be a reflection of what the parents have taught them right. yeah okay yes very well voiced uh so um you know we spoke about influences you know like external influences uh what do you think influence our choices like i should do this or i should do that you know uh what influences our choices normally in life just generally mm, like uh if you're talking about good person like uh the uh, the influence and like the good uh youtubers or the good uh, like uh, like uh, who gives speeches and all the authors and all so if you want to read or if you want to listen to them so we want to go in a, uh, on a go a good path Mm-hmm. not on a bad path if we gonna not listen to them are we gonna uh, do like whatever we want to do like in a negative and negative uh, way so we are not gonna be a good person or a good child to our parents also and to our society also okay so you say that a lot to do with even people you know people whether they are around you they can influence us concerning where which paths we choose in our lives all right yes i'll give you that um coming to bad behavior right has there ever been a time when you've tolerated bad behavior tolerated bad behavior <laughs> a lot of time lot of no times. <laughs> <laughs> so think of one think of one incident you know that you know this happened and oh my god i had to tolerate it do you get the verb tolerate tolerate me uh, we have to keep quiet and we have to take it yeah, yeah just take it you know like somehow it's like uh, it's used for something which is unpleasant you yeah. know so uh, you have to be calm you have to be patient and just quietly take it so you say tolerate tolerate, tolerate all right so you said that, oh my god so many times i have to tolerate bad behavior right yeah uh, because i'm so, not a, yeah. i'm not a kind of person like who like to shout on anyone or who like shout at anyone yes shout at anyone and who like to abuse anyone like uh, in a, a d- different way like uh, while we are uh, like doing uh, in friends like wh- while we are uh, like uh, hanging out on that time is okay but on not on a serious matter like i'm a quite, i'm a quite and calm person like whatever you going to say me like i'm going to accept it i'm going to take it and chill yeah. that's all yeah yeah so you saying like i'm not the kind of guy who picks fights you know like you know we all feel we all feel upset or angry about some things but some people react immediately and they'll you know they'll give it back to the person you know yeah. but you say i'm not that kind of guy i'm like it's you know i just it's okay it's not i don't want to pick a fight for this that's uh, what you say so that's why you said that many times and i think this can be a problem you know when you are a uh, when you're a patient person and when you are a calm person sometimes that gets mistaken for weakness <laughs> a lot of time but once i get uh, shouted on my one of my friend that's all after after that and never 
you haven't ever yeah? yeah but you you normally you, uh, such a person has to put up with a lot of bad behavior you know because they feel that oh he's not going to fight you know it's okay so let me let me like you know really act bad with this person yeah so you said there are there have been times so any yeah. one example you can describe that you know this happened and i had to i had to tolerate it I, well, uh, once I was in off uh, at office, uh, so one of my colleague was started to like uh, he was like started abusing me, like uh, not uh, not on a mat. Like I don't know why he uh, he was trying to abuse me. I said okay, 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 just chill. I was just taking it nothing. Uh, he was uh, re- uh, trying to abuse me. I was like okay, dude, like you are right on your way. Like uh, I'm right on. Your way. Do whatever you want to do. I'm not gonna say a word and all. So like around 15 to 20 minutes, he was he was still trying to uh, abuse. Uh, he he was try- he was abusing me. So after that, he just uh, tired and keep quiet. <laughs> after that, he left. <laughs> he didn't say a word to me. So, um, who do you think felt more negative at the end of all of that? The other person, not me. <laughs> yes. So that's a very that's a very mature approach to uh, to you know. So I think life in general, which is very nice, because normally the you know the reflexive, you know the action, the reaction to something like that is somebody says something bad, immediately you feel like saying something bad. But it's good that you stay calm. I stay peaceful. I say you finish your whatever crazy negative energy you have. Let it leave your system. But I'm going to stay calm. Right? Okay, that's a good example you gave us over there. So that's one example of bad behavior: a colleague abusing somebody in the office. Terrible. I hope the boss reprimanded him. No, it was not. It was not. No, he was not saying in front of boss. Like when we are on break on that time, he was trying to abuse yeah, me. Yeah, so very bad behavior. Yes. Okay. Uh, is there any now? You uh, you said that I'm a very patient and calm guy. You know, most of the time with my friends, they sometimes and I just let you know, I let go. I you know, I'm not so calm with them. But most of the time, you're a patient person. Is there some kind of behavior that you will say this is intolerable? Intolerable. Okay, so intolerable is something which you will not accept. This is I will not accept this behavior. Is there any kind of behavior which you say this is intolerable? No, I never shout around anyone. So I don't know, like uh, if, if that thing is intolerable or what. <laughs> okay. So once again, I'm going to say uh, touch wood to that. Okay. Do you have a touch, <laughs> touch wood? Yeah, yeah. touch wood. So that means yes, like a finger cross. I'm I'm happy that you haven't faced such circumstances where you feel that, you know. I can't. Enough. This is enough. enough. Yes. Okay. So good. Good for you. All right. Okay. Um. Let's talk about um. This is there anything that you will describe as this is the worst behavior I have ever seen. You know, it needn't even be somebody you know. It yeah. can be like you know, maybe something you read or you saw it on YouTube or maybe something whatever. And you said, "My God, this is the worst behavior I've ever seen." Yeah. Yeah, I think that strikes you uh, really bad. Yeah, a long time ago, like uh, maybe three or four years ago, I saw one reel on Insta or maybe on what? Uh, sorry, on uh, uh, like YouTube or all. So there was a one child, uh, like a uh, foreign child, like who was uh, like fire started fighting with his mom and dad uh, because they are not uh, uh, allowing him to play a uh, video game and all. Okay. So he he started a pick he he pick a fight with his mom and dad he started uh de- destroying his all over the house and all and then after that they call a uh, cops also like for them. Okay. Because that because that child like each and uh, like around sixteen to twenty uh sixteen uh, hours uh maybe more than sixteen hours he's uh already uh, playing a video game and all and he didn't came out uh from to from his room and all so. Okay. Oh my God! Yes, that would look really bad, like really terrible. So did you? What was your reaction when you saw that? I was like, why? <laughs> How? How is it even possible? Yeah. So we we use the reason. How is this even possible? It's like when you're completely shocked. You know that really such a thing can happen. You know. So yeah, yeah. So that would be. I think that would be a pretty bad behavior. Do you think such a thing would happen very often in India? No, no, I don't. I don't think so. Like that kind of thing is happening happen in India. Okay, 
years. We haven't reached that. That uh, maybe you know, uh, maybe those addiction levels, perhaps. Yeah. I don't know. I'm guessing. <laughs> okay, right. So you said that was like really bad behavior. How do you feel? Um, good behavior can be taught. Is there any particular like you know some things that if this is done, I think it will improve behavior of people in la- at large. So are there any things to do concerning teaching good behavior? Mm, yeah, uh, like teaching good behavior to other people. Like uh, it uh, nowadays, it really means like to teach a good behavior because nowadays people are not talking with uh, any other like person in a good manner or some way. Like uh, I like to say, like the spirit. The main thing is spirituality. If we more uh, more focus on the spirituality and do meditation all, all so yeah, uh, it really helps us. to keep us mind calm and patience also yes, i think those are very good tips you said that in a in a day where uh, in an age where you know we are our human interaction is lessening uh, perhaps because of that we are not always at our best behavior with each other and um, i like your choice of you said that yes spirituality is one thing that will make you a better person you know it makes you calmer more peaceful automatically if you're a better person your interaction with others is also better better yeah, yeah it automatically translates to that yes so very good over there all right we stop over here for today akshay have a lovely evening and i will see you tomorrow bye man see ya bye see you have a good day you too you too.